What's going on guys, Corey Brothers here for another video and today we are reinstalling lowering springs and struts on our uh, yeah. cheap Mustang here. Yeah, I see we bought a whole new eyebox suspension for it, lowering springs, shocks, struts, Christmas time, right? sway bars. You bought them in like December, but just just recently installed it last week. Well, we have installed because this past weekend found out they sent us the wrong one, so we got the new one. So we're gonna, yeah. So let me go and show you real the fast. New one to show you the process. So as you can see right here, the car is already lowered. It's actually lowered uh, 1.3 in the front. No, I think it's more than that. No, I think it's 1.3 in the front on these, no, and two, it's more. a solid two in the rear. I think it's inch and a half in the front too. Yeah, a nice rear. dent there, but uh, so it's actually the car's already lowered. And that's, we're gonna go ahead and restore. So we didn't know this, but um, we did the rear. And got it all done, and then we installed the front. Well, we tried to install the front, and it didn't work. And just to find out that it, they sent us the 2011 and up uh, front, the whole suspension actually. So we had to order the new kit, the whole entire kit, everything, and they're gonna take these ones back. So now we're gonna go ahead and basically take these out, put the new ones in. All right. So as you can see, we already have. Well, there's the board attack over there. We're already, there's the, the suspension that's coming out. We got the, the sway bar staying, pan hard bar staying, but we got to take out the struts and the springs. Shocks. Shocks in the springs. All right, first thing you want to do, take apart that uh, top of the sway bar right there, a little mount there. Look at that, pretty nice, huh? All right, Matt, what are we doing now? Well, first, I disconnected the sway bar with the with the uh, Let me get the whole differential jacked up. That way it's compressed. That way it comes off easy and there's no injuries. Lower the sway bar. Now I'm gonna take these um, top of these nuts off. Get in here. Right? Shocks are worse. I told back in the day we didn't have a good air compressor, so it take ten years. Yeah, I know. It's so much faster now. So what's crazy about this uh, on these Mustangs, this has already popped out as is. you can see. These springs, they're literally, they're literally just in there. They literally just come right out. Yeah, it's kind of a weird design with the, with the solder. We've also so. painted this inside real nice, a little protection. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take this out first. The shark absorber's coming out. This is, we've done it so many times now. See, this is the third time in a week we've done this. Look, that's out. Let's pull this out too over here. Look at that. There's a spring, which is the wrong one, but look, the whole thing, the whole axle is just hanging out. So what's crazy, if anybody wondered, these are 2011 to 20, I think 14 springs? Yeah. And they fit in the back, so, right? They do fit, I don't know if right there. I don't know. I wonder if they had those right there correct way in there. Huh? Probably not. Isn't that crazy? Look, literally, literally within five minutes, this whole this whole back's taken apart. As uh, I'm asking some tools to do this by hand, there's the new panel bar. I tell you, this thing is crazy how you adjust it on these uh, these Mustangs because when we first put it on, obviously the car sits two inches lower now. This whole axle was shifted like inches onto this side. It was weird. And then we had to do all our fine tuning. It's actually in a machine that you have to do that. Right, we we're, were literally like getting uh, wood that would go straight down with the wheel and measuring it with a level. It was actually yeah, weird. When we, when we level it, the, the, axle, the whole axle shifts. So the idea of the paint hard bar is to, is to get the, the axle back in the center of the car. But it's stupid because it's very it's very hard to get it eaten right. Which I, honestly, I don't even know if it's right the way it is now, but it's pretty close. I say we, if I mean if we're off, we're barely off. I mean we had this thing with a level, the laser measuring it, everything. I say we took a ton of measurements. It's pretty close, but the, the way the paint hard bar is, the way I have it adjusted right now, kind of looks kind of funny in there. But I mean, it looks level, so I yeah, it, gets, it gets the, it gets the job done, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I think. What are those? Oh, those are the. I don't know what the. Uh, correct term, I don't know. I don't know if they're called a bump stock, but I don't know what they're called, but... The little things that, yeah. that help the car whenever... It, yeah, get, they go in the back, so whenever it's especially compressed... When you get a couple car. fat asses in the back, you don't hit the car. Yeah, but I don't know what they're... they're Look at that, quality stickers. We got so many of these now. I forget those are called, but I don't know if I'm going to change them, because the, honestly, the stock ones are in like perfect condition. A little unboxing over here on this box. Like more stickers, man. The problem is they put these stickers in there, but they're all bent from the, the packaging. Look, all these nice stickers. Look, stickers everywhere. Here's the shock absorbers, which I wonder if these numbers are even different than the other ones. I don't know. These are supposed to be the right ones now, so. We're gonna put them in. All right, so all the new stuff's pretty easy, obviously. You just like take yeah, it out. You're supposed to line up the bottom of this with, uh, you'll feel where it fits on the pad. Although this turn, so I don't really know what, what good that's gonna do me. It's, How about the top piece? The top one, I, I can feel for it. It's right, it's right there. But the, it's these numbers going out facing outside. Well, it, they're, that's what they're, they say in the video. I guess I can just turn it. The thing up there just turns. So. Yeah, they say always make, always make the wording facing outward. Yeah, make sure you can read it too, it's upside down. Get the wording out, that way you can show everybody when you take your wheel off. I'll put the bottom bolt in then. All 
All right, guys, we realized as soon as we put these in, we messed up and uh, forgot to put on these bottom rubber pieces right here. This little metal piece, forgot to put it in. I don't know how we forgot, but we forgot. Oh, what a nightmare. So now we have to take out the other side and put this back in, too. All right, now you got to put these little pieces on top. I don't know all the technical terms over here, but let me go ahead and get Here's into it. Here's a little, little uh, rubber piece on top of the shock absorber. We hear that. Then you got to put the metal piece on. Rubber this, metal that, then, bolt this, tight this. I barely need room to catch any threads. Look at this. That's when you get the impact ratchet. Full send it. Oh, yeah. More? That's pretty good. Pretty good, eh? All right. Shock absorbers are in. Springs are in. I hope they're in good. Now it's time to put the sway bar, raise it back up. Put it back in position. Yep. Gonna raise it back up. All right, guys, car is back on the ground. Uh, no difference as before because it's the exact same kit, just the right one. Um, two inch drop in the rear. It's got to settle a little bit too. I think they said uh, about a week. Yeah, about a week or so. Then we'll see exactly how low it is. Um, so we'll, yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Now we're going to put the trunk back together. We don't have time to do the front today, so we're going to do that tomorrow morning. But yeah, uh, we'll put that on video too. We'll do that little video too. There's the. Oh, look at Remember before how it's sweet? Oh yeah, well, that's because it wasn't in right. What well, was the wrong eyeball kit? It was, it was making a noise when you go and you bounce on it. And oh it's yeah. It's silent now, so. Can you imagine how we literally installed the, we installed the sp springs and the rear struts for a. Uh, the, whole bottom, the whole back end was done. We're, yeah, we're, the whole back end was done and the springs we were had, done in the front. We had the front out and we were trying to get the the, the upper strut mount to go on. It wasn't going on. So we, we ordered GT500 mounts. Yeah, oh, by the way, we better go get those before we get to put those on tomorrow yeah, too. We need to grab those too. And uh, when we found out that they didn't fit. That are on one, so. Grease monkey, guess monkey, grease monkey. Okay, okay. All right, we'll continue this video tomorrow. All right, guys, next morning here, working on the Mustang, installing the front suspension. Got the new mounts right here, Shelby GT500. GT500 upper strut mounts. I go right there. Not that there's a performance game, but they're just designed, they're a little bit stronger. They're supposed to be better. Hey, for 120 bucks, it better be better. Yeah, we, we, we didn't even want to buy you, but um, is that a little problem we had, but. Yeah, we thought, we, we thought those were wrong. But anyways, yeah, there's that. Let me show them what we had in here before. We got the. We got the 2011 and up lowering springs right there installed. Obviously, they are not right. And uh, there, where's the new ones at? There's the new mounts, not mounts, but uh, yeah, there's a there's a problem with the with the reason why the other ones didn't work because of the design. I'll show you here. Let me prepare them. Oh, this is completely different design. Oh yeah. So there's the new ones, and here's the problem we have. When we went and installed the 2011, and they weren't working. It's because of the design. All show up the design. See how all the design. This one has the threads, then it has this thick part. On here, on wait, it's one, out of focus. There we go. On this one, the correct one, it has the threads, then it has this like part that's uh, thinner. That's where the strut mount fits. Um, yeah, you can see, you can see it all right there. You can see a difference. Yeah, you can see, see a completely different it's design. A, it's, yeah, it's, it's like um, machined a little bit farther so the, yeah. the mount can go through. Completely different design, but these are the correct ones. So we're going to go ahead and throw those babies in. Time to throw them back on. All right, now. After taking a look at the YouTube video again, as if we just didn't do this a couple days ago, gotta take off the little say, brake line. I say there, there's a, a brake line, there's another line over here that connects to the back of the straw. We disconnected both of those. Um, now we're gonna do sway bar end link over here. All right, now we're gonna take the top bolt off right here, a little. <laughs> the spinning mount. I think it's actually off. I think I gotta hold it. It's, uh, I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna do this manually work, manual work. Oh, no, it came off. Once this is off, then we're going to See, do these two right here. Explain a little better. You do, know. A little, do a little explaining. We don't have a spring compressor, so what we're going to do what we did is before we took. I guess we left it. We took left these on, compressed the suspension. We took this off because this is for the upper strut mount. And then what we're going to do is we're going to loosen all these up and then take it off from the bottom and then slowly lower lower the the strut, the whole assembly, and then it's, it'll pop right and out. And then we'll compress it back up on this style. Yeah. A little, little trick of the trade over here. Try to get this nut off of this. There it goes. There we go. Yeah, but. All right, so now you take the bolts out right here. As you can see, the spring is all already loose, the whole strut assembly there. There's the bottom bolt mat's got to take out. Flop that disc over. Let this hang. And now it should just pop right out. It should just come right out now. Yep. Now we're going to swap it in with the that new new. I gotta figure out what I gotta, what that dude, that little piece over there at first. Yeah. Oh, we're playing around over here and a little discovery. I think we're gonna go ahead and use this uh this dust cover this, dust cover factory is better. The fa this one is like this the one that give you like it's a like cheap crap. It's like made from China. 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 This goes on and it doesn't even go on. I mean it just like kind of chills there. I mean it's probably good enough, but this the factory one has this like metal cap on it. This might be the first time Fork got something better. 
I don't see any dry right on it. It looks like it's all in good I shape. I say it looks pretty. It's just dirty. Look at the nice cover on top it has. It fits in it real nice. I say that one kind of fits in there better. What do you think? We should stock one, Nick? Yeah. All right, we should stock one. All right, Matt, go and give him a little bit of an educational uh, TED talk here. Just in case somebody, spend, somebody, just in case somebody actually, a little, little 101 install here. Yeah, I mean, it should go without saying, but you can tell by the way the struts are designed. The bottom of the spring has to like rest on this piece here. Same with the top, the upper mount. You see where the little cutout is for the top of the spring to rest. So you gotta make sure that's all right. And then when you install it, there's an arrow up on top here. If I'm correct, the arrow is supposed to face towards inward, the engine, towards the motor. It goes just like that. Now, if you had a spring compressor, it'd be easier, and you could have did this on the ground. It'd be way easier, but we don't, so we're not. So we're gonna go ahead and shove it Actually, in the car. You know what, Nick? I probably could. I probably could put the, the nut on here. Look. How far do you go down, though? Just enough so I can uh, just, get, just get it on. Oh, right, let's do it. I think that guy actually that's did actually it. That's actually as far as it goes. Look. Oh, uh, let's, well, let's roll with it. Maybe we'll do it here. That'd be ten times easier if we can. I say the guy, the one guy we watched on YouTube, he said you, on these Mustangs, you can literally do this whole entire thing in your driveway with just your regular household tools, nothing fancy. And so far, I don't think we need anything fancy. Well, look, we, that's enough to hold it in place. I can always tighten it up when it's on a car. Yeah. But it's in place now. Make sure it's all lined up. Everything's good. Um, size this is probably the bigger one. All right, I got this in now, this side. Yep. Good. Did you put the brake light? Oh, no, you gotta do that next. I don't want to play in there. Oh, maybe I take that top one down better. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because you way too much play in there. All right, uh, we're, gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and do this side, but we're not gonna show you the process because it's the exact same thing on that side. But we're gonna go ahead and get this done, and then we'll go ahead and do the uh, new sway bar. All right, now we'll get this side done. Get the spring installed. Now we're gonna do that sway bar. I the say, upgrade. I say up under the sway bar. Actually, give me a camera. I'll show them. My hands are dirty. Dirty hands. To take the sway bar out, it's uh, obviously the sway bar and uh, the end links we took out already. In the sway bar, there's going to be two bolts. One here, and obviously one right up above. It's kind of hard to see here, but it's right up above it. So these two, and then down the other side, there's going to be the same two. You take those out, and then it should just come right out. So should. It's, all, it's always, uh, there's always something. It's always should, but it never does. Look how us. dirty that control arm is. We're going to clean that. Yeah. Alright, let's see, get up in here. You got some room to work? Yeah, it's kind of hard for you. I got, I got back problems. I got a bad back. You don't really have a lot of room to work in there. Especially with my back problems. Huh? No compensation for you. Alright, Matt got the sway bar, old sway bar out. Now we got to transfer some parts over to the new one. These look like they're in good shape. But we'll parts are bought new end legs. That's an easy fix though, really. Yeah, that's, that's a very easy That's a, that's a five minute job if you know what you're doing. Alright, we transferred the... Sway bar links. Matt's greasing up these fittings right here. A little grease monkey, Matt. Mouth. Making an absolute disaster of a mess over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What a mess. All right. I'm going to have to do some adjustment on this, but I'll wait till we get underneath the car and look. Time to throw it in? Yep. And links are on. Nice and tight, hopefully. Hopefully, they don't fly out. I'm going to use your system for this now. All right. All right, new sway bars in. Just, just a matter of tying it down now. If you can see it, it looks pretty good. There's no point in putting a sticker on it. I didn't even realize you can't see nothing. It's just gonna look good for an oil change, and it's probably gonna be us doing an oil change like we've been doing. So, I'm not gonna put a sticker on, but there's suspension. It looks pretty good. All right, guys, got the Mustang all done. We're gonna do a little walk around. Uh, what do you think, Matt? Um, that's pretty good. The front looks looks really low. For some reason, the back looks higher than, than usual. I don't know why. It looks it looks it doesn't look like it's a little too high in the back. Right, what it was this morning. I mean, uh, we didn't do anything to the back. We're probably drive it around a little bit, let it settle. We haven't driven yet, but um, the front's extremely low. I'll show you where the front's at. I have some pictures here. I can uh, Matt throw them in, but uh, she nice. Very low in the front. A little walk around here. Mustang's dirty. He's missing outside. Walking through. A little walk through over here. The back I already know for sure is two inches because we measured it. It was an exactly two inch drop, which is pretty nice. We need to get okay, some new wheels. Two in the rear. The front's like one and a half. I think one, 1.3, 1 1.5. I forget what they said on the kit. These were the lower. These are the sport line eye box springs. So these are the lowers. I say of all the of all the lowering suspension kits, I think American Muscle said this is the the kit that gets you the lowest stance in the car. So yeah, I hope it doesn't give us any rubbing issues. Which I mean, I don't, I don't think it should. We should be all right. Yeah, we should be good. Yeah. 
Alright, see if a ride search was like. Let's go for a ride. For a ride. Oh. Let's put it all together, right? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I we have no extra bolts, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> This just sounds weird. First reaction over here with this, the proper kit. Let's go back here. Oh, extra bump. I mean, uh, going above your road, yeah. Take it nice and easy, just in case we're gonna do something right. Don't fall apart on Don't us. Cause any damage. One thing you definitely notice with this suspension is that obviously it's way more firm. You You're real know, stiff. You definitely notice that, yeah, it's more stiff. I'm gonna bumps everything. But the steering feels, uh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to describe the best way I mean, to say the best More way to uh, reactive, like, like uh, It's almost like more direct or something. Like, uh, I'm trying to think what, what the, what's the proper way of saying it, but the steering feels like it's more turning or something. Like it's, it feels way Let, You have to put less work in to turn it. Not even that, it just, it just feels like, uh, I don't know, really, I don't want to say heavier, but it feels more like direct, which well, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or what. I'm but put my belt on it. That might be the word I'm looking for, more direct maybe. I just feel like, I'm just feeling like, I mean, yeah. it's, you get, the turn in is way better. Maybe that's the word I'm looking for, the turn in. This road over here is really bumpy, so nice. Get a nice little feel for it. Feels way better. Plus, keep in mind too, the suspension that was in there was the stock. Like, the, I'm pretty sure it was the original suspension. Two hundred thousand so miles. You figure the car is an 07. Oh, we did. We did say that strut up there was replaced once. Did we? Yeah, because they had a different part number. I mean, it wasn't a Ford, wasn't it? No, it was all Ford. Oh, was it? Yeah, it was all Ford. And this is a bumpy road too. Before, oh my, this is nothing I but. I can't push it hard here, Zan. It's still cold. Now you can run through a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little one. Feels really smooth, doesn't it? Yeah, well, I mean, we'll have to test out the highway speeds. Yeah, but where are we going about 45 right now? Yeah, about 40. It feels good. One thing I will say about this car is we're taking this to Columbus, uh, Ohio, what twice? Yeah, it's pretty much like a two and a half hour road trip. And I'm not gonna lie, it might have been smoother than the E55. We took the E55 twice, this twice, and our F150 twice. The, the truck was the truck's real smooth, but this was an extremely enjoyable drive. All right, little pull out right here, Matt. Massive difference on the field. Watch a garbage truck over here, huh? Yeah, I gotta sit down. There's a garbage truck over here. Hit it again. Hey, little one. Oh, yeah. Not that fun, huh? Man, I'll tell you what, I love this car. I love this car so much. So much fun. A couple downshifts. Make sure they're good for the camera, Matt. Make sure they're good. I think they're pretty good, huh? No, not too bad. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. We're all done. Car drove good. We're, we're still going to take it for more drives, and we'll, if anything yeah. happens, we'll, uh, you know, if something... Plus we need to, the car is still... I think it's going to take a couple weeks for it to like, settle the way it's supposed to, and plus we'll have to get our more driving. Yeah, we're going drive. If anything happens, we'll be posting that on our Instagram stories at the 40 Brothers. You guys should be following us on there. If you're not, then you're missing out, but... Um, it's not bigly. Um, let's see. I think that's it. That's Next it. video, we might be doing a little update on the, on the Deership building. Uh, they started a lot of... It, obviously, it's all on Instagram or updates, but uh, the building should be fully um, framed it out today. Uh, should be done, and then, but you'll see that in the next yeah. video probably. And uh, until then, we'll see you guys in the next video.